Hello, I'm Balraj. There's an old saying, nothing is permanent but change. And the same is true for bioethic communities as well. And uh, today I've chosen this very interesting topic called ecological succession. This concept was first formally put by an American ecologist, Clements. Ecological succession actually refers to the coming to life of a bare barren area. And uh, it can be of two types. One, primary succession and secondary succession. Primary succession refers to the coming to life of a place where life never existed. For example, there was a volcanic eruption, some volcanic island was created. This is primary succession. No life existed before, now let's come to secondary succession. Secondary succession is a process where life existed earlier but due to some reason it was wiped out. So let's look at it in a more formal way. You can say that Ecological succession is a process by which simpler communities of plants and animals are replaced by more complex ones over a period of time. And a more formal definition can be that it is an orderly and predictable process of replacement of species in an area with time. And uh, on the basis of causes, it can be either autogenic succession or allogenic succession. Autogenic succession refers to a succession where organisms themselves are responsible and allogenic succession refers to succession where external factors are responsible like fire or floods. Now, uh, I'll show it to you through a diagram. Uh, now, if we look at primary succession, now, like I said, in primary succession, life has not existed before let's look at this for example there is a rock and uh, here lichens have started accumulating and these lichens are a symbiotic association of fungus and alga and these lichens produce weak acids and this leads to the weathering of the rocks so in primary succession no soil was present and because of this the primary succession takes thousands of years so let's look at these stages this is called the pioneer stage because pioneer species like the lichens, pioneer species are those which are the first to occupy a barren area and then we have an intermediate species then we have the climax community now climax community is a community that is in equilibrium with the environment and uh, I would like to elaborate a little more see when the lichens or the pioneers which initially came in they come and alter the environment a little bit for example the lichens come in they lead to soil formation so then larger plants come in which require more nutrients and sunlight so the lichens are actually uh, removed whereas if we talk about climate communities they do not change the environment to their own detriment that is why they are able to survive there and they are also in equilibrium with the climate now let's look at secondary succession secondary succession refers to a process where soil was present because life had earlier existed for example, there was a certain forest. Due to forest fire, the forest was destroyed but soil was present. And within, with soil, seeds and spores were also present. So this is the stage, pioneer stage, we have intermediate stage and then ultimately the climax community. The only difference is that of time, pioneer, the primary succession takes thousands of years and the secondary succession takes hundreds or 200 or 300 years because soil was present as well as spores and seeds were already present. Now let's look at it in a terrestrial habitat. In terrestrial habitat, for example, there was a new pond which came in. So phytoplankton initially came in. These can be called the pioneer species. Now let's observe this one important thing. In the aquatic uh, habitat, as the process continues, the sediments start increasing and this reduces the depth of the pond or the aquatic body and the ultimate product becomes a forest and I would like to add a very important thing that aquatic succession happens because of eutrophication. Eutrophication is a process whereby a water body becomes rich in nutrients. So I will also show you the certain stages again. Like uh, in the primary succession, we take thousands of years like a bare, bare rock, no soil. For example, after a volcanic eruption, lichens come in, they are pioneer species. Now important thing to remember about primary species is pioneer species is that they have a very high growth rate. 
but their uh, life span is short then we have soil formation then we have a new cd uh, like cd means a complete sequence of the communities that live in and you know important thing about cd is that every cd alters the environment a little bit and like i said earlier lichens can uh, no longer survive here because they cannot compete for light water and minerals and then we have larger more nutrient demanding plants and vegetation so we have a new cd here and ultimately we have a climax community and uh, climax community like i said it does not alter the environment one very important thing about climax community which i would like to add is that in the climax community you would most probably find mesophytes now mesophytes are those plants which require moderate amount of moisture now whether the succession has happened on a desert dry area or whether it has happened in a water rich area the ultimate product would be a forest in that too of mesophytes so this was a very important point now uh, i would also like to throw some light on the sequence which occurs in succession first stage is called nutation which means the area is bare barren then the second stage is called invasion it has some sub stages like migration for example the spores and seeds of plants come here then we have a stage called ichthyosis which means establishment of new plants which happens because of spores or spores and seeds then we have a stage called aggregation which means increase in the population then we have a third stage called competition and coaction which means that there will be competition which can be inter and intra species that is within the species and also with other species and reaction is the most important space stage because here the environment is modified because of the organisms and ultimately we will have the climax now uh, let's talk about the evaluation of the concept see uh, like i said clements uh, had given the concept of climax and he had given a mono climax concept because he believed that it was only climate that affected the uh, succession so this enjoyed a long time of acceptability within the scientific community but later a new concept called polyclimax concept has come which means that not just climate other factors like soil temperature or gradient these also affect so within a climate there can be a mosaic of different uh, climaxes so it's called a polyclimax concept however the entire concept of climax is now being challenged for example whitaker has challenged this concept because it is now believed that plants would never come into uh, equilibrium with the environment or the animals would not come into equilibrium with the environment so this concept of climax is entirely being changed and one more thing i would like to add when we talk about succession it's not just the succession of plants it is also the succession of animals because as the plants change the habitat of the animals also change their food requirements they get newer kind of food and that is that's why it's not just with plants it's also with animals so thank you for watching and please stay tuned for more videos thank you very much